Payroll Year End in Sage Payroll Running your Payroll Year End in Sage Payroll is easy. In this video, we will cover any important dates and deadlines, explain how to complete the tax year processing and prepare for your Payroll Year End, show you how to complete your Payroll Year End, explain any legislation and payroll changes for 2023-2024. Let's look at some of the important dates over payroll year end. 6th of April. This is the start of the new tax year. Please note you can process any pay runs in the new tax year even if you have not completed your year end. 19th of April. This is your deadline for your final EPS submission of the tax year. 31st of May. This is the date your employees should have received their pay 60s. We'll now look at preparing for year end and finalising your 2022-2023 processing. Before completing your final pay period of the tax year, you should process any current year levers. This means any levers with a current tax year leave date should have received their final pay and be processed as a lever in Sage Payroll. If you run a weekly, fortnightly or four weekly payroll, you may have an extra pay period, also known as a week 53. You have an extra pay period if your regular pay date falls on Wednesday the 5th of April 2023. If you do not have an extra pay period, simply process your payroll as normal, continuing with your usual pay date. If you do have an extra pay period, make sure that you process this in Sage Payroll before you complete your year end. Advancing holiday pay. You can't advance holiday pay over two tax years. If the employee is on holiday over the payroll year end period, you should process each holiday week separately without using the advance pay feature. You can use the advance pay option if the advance pay period covers any weeks up to and including week 52. For example, if you're processing week 51 and advancing week 52. If you do have a week 53, this should be processed separately and should not be included with any advanced holiday payments. Processing your final pay. Before running your year end, process your final pay of the tax year and submit this to HMRC as usual. Let's move on to the year end process. From the menu, choose year end. First, check the tax year to report on is showing 2022-2023. Step 1 is to review your employees' pay values. The purpose of this step is to check values and make any necessary corrections before the payroll year end is completed. Choose Review Employee Pay and you'll see a list of the employees that you've paid in this tax year. You'll also see their total pay to date here. To view more detailed information for each individual employee, click View P11 next to their name. To view the P11 for all employees at once, click View P11 for all employees. You can print these reports or export them as a PDF. Once you've checked each employee, you can return to the year end steps. Close your report and click Return to Year End. Select the checkbox to confirm Step 1 is complete. Step 2 of the payroll year end is the Employer Payment Summary Submission, also known as an APS. This is your final APS of the tax year. This submission should be sent to HMRC by the 19th of April. You can see a countdown to this date here. To start your final APS, click Submit APS. If you're closing your PAYE scheme, select this checkbox and enter your cessation date. If you're not closing your PAYE scheme, do not select the checkbox. 
to continue, click next. Check your CIS deductions suffered and recovery and compensation values. These are your year-to-date values and they're automatically calculated based on what you've processed in the tax year. To continue and submit the EPS, click next. To change your saved HMRC user credentials, click change. If there's been no change to these details since your last full payment submission, click submit. Once the submission is successful, you'll be notified here. Step 3 is to distribute your P60 certificates. This should be completed by the 31st of May and you can see the countdown here. A P60 certificate will be produced for all employees who are still employed by you on the 5th of April. To print your P60s, click Print P60 Certificates. You can view the P60 for each employee individually by clicking the link next to their name. Alternatively, view them all at once by clicking the View All link. You can print them onto plain paper or save them to your computer. Once you have completed this step, click Return to Year End. To mark this step as complete, select the checkbox. Submitting the supplementary FPS is not a mandatory step. This is only applicable if you have made any corrections to the 2022-2023 tax year processing after you have processed and submitted your final pay run of the tax year. To do this, click Submit Supplementary FPS and follow the on-screen instructions. The supplementary FPS will automatically include any corrections you have made since your last pay run. These corrected values will be sent to HMRC. If at any point you do go back and correct the tax year, you should come in and submit the supplementary FPS to let HMRC know about the changes. If you have not corrected your payroll since your last pay run of 2022-2023, you do not need to complete this step. We'll now look at some of the changes for the new tax year. The emergency tax code remains at 1257L. Tax code personal allowances remain the same unless specifically instructed by HMRC. Any tax code notices you receive from HMRC should be updated in Sage Payroll. However, do not update any new tax codes until you have completed your 2022-2023 tax year processing. When you run your first payroll of the tax year, this message will appear. You can amend the tax codes here if required. Alternatively, you can amend the tax code in the employee record. There are no changes to the national insurance bans or rates for employees. From the 6th of April 2023, the statutory sick pay rate is £109.40 per week. The statutory parental pay has increased to £172.48 per week. Student loan thresholds have increased as shown. The rates for the national minimum and national living wage have increased from the 1st of April. If you would like to know more about legislation changes in the new tax year, you can visit HMRC's website or our Help Centre by clicking the Help option at the top of the screen. You have now learned how to prepare and process your payroll year end in Sage Payroll.